Hope you like digging, and if you don't, then maybe the added bonus of finding fossils can win you over. We're going to take a look at completing the fossil collection in The Sims 4. Let's get started with finding fossils in the base game, of which there are 15 to collect. To uncover them, we first need to find limestone or fossil rocks, and one way to do this is by digging. On the ground in various worlds you'll see dirt piles, and you can click on these and dig them up. Doing so has a chance to find a limestone, which in your inventory is actually called a fossil rock. They're the same thing. Note that this isn't guaranteed, and you might find other random things like upgrade parts or time capsules too. You can also come across rocks which look like they have bones poking out of them, and digging up these with the normal dig interaction gives a pretty much guaranteed chance of finding a limestone slash fossil rock. Once you have a few of these, then all you need to do is click on them in your inventory and select Extract Fossil, which will see you gain a fossil from the collection. Note that sometimes you'll be left with a broken fossil, which, you know, sad face, but we move on. Now if you're searching for fossils, then I highly recommend choosing a Nature Aspiration as one of your Sims' first ones, as doing this will give them the Collector trait. If your sim has this when extracting a fossil, then they'll gain two fossils rather than just one, essentially meaning that finding fossils and completing your collection will be twice as fast. Now there's also an additional way to find fossils in the base game, being by sending your sim on space missions. For this, buy and build a rocket ship and ideally upgrade it a bit too, before sending your sim away on space missions which are text based journeys. There are lots of things they can find on these missions, and sometimes they might just return with rare fossils. While it's good to know about this method, do know that overall digging up rocks in worlds is much more effective in finding fossils. Now the fossil collection gets quite a bit of love if you have the Jungle Adventure game pack. Not only does this introduce 5 new fossils, but it also brings new ways to find them within Selva Dorada. Fossil rocks found in Selva Dorada look identical to those in other worlds. However, note that those found in Selva Dorada will exist in their own stack in your sim's inventory and that they are slightly different. Firstly, fossils found in Selva Dorada have a chance to give one of the five additional fossils brought in with the game pack, while fossils found in other worlds don't. Also, Fossils found in Selva Dorada aren't affected by the collector trait, meaning sadly you'll only be able to extract one fossil per fossil rock. I know, it's devastating. And I also know what you're thinking, so how do you find these fossil rocks in Selva Dorada? Well, you can generally dig up rocks with bones poking out of them in the same way you would in other worlds. But you can also use the archaeology skill to uncover them. Across Selva Dorada, you'll come across dig piles. These can be found all over, from general areas to the temples, and you can excavate these for a chance to get a fossil rock. Note that the chance is relatively small as you can also uncover omniscient artifacts, relics and other miscellaneous things from this. At level 4 of the archaeology skill, you'll gain the ability to survey for dig piles, and using this interaction on the ground has a chance to see a dig pile appear nearby. Then, if you have level 6 of the archaeology skill, then you'll further be able to turn a dig pile into an excavation site, allowing you to extract multiple objects from it. And once you have a few, then just like your usual fossil rocks, you can simply click on them in your inventory to extract a fossil from it. Anecdotally, I felt like I found more fossil rocks in general areas, while around the temple, I felt that I uncovered more relics and artifacts from dig piles. Moving away from jungle adventure, a quick note is that if you have the island living expansion pack, then the volcanic activity lot challenge can see giant lava boulders fall from the sky on occasion. Breaking these open once they've cooled down can occasionally see you gain a fossil too. Now you have lots of random fossils. Great, but what on earth are you going to do with them? Well, when placed in the world, they provide an environment plus 3 boost and they can also be studied to provide a focused plus 1 moodlet for 4 hours. In addition, once you collect them all, then you will be given the golden trilobite plaque which will arrive in the mail shortly after you finish the collection. 
and it looks quite nice on display. Just before finishing up, if you manage to finish the Curator Aspiration, then you'll gain the Appraiser trait, which lets you sell fossils to the Simpsonian Museum for a little bit of money. And this can be a great way to make more simoleons if that's what you're after. And with that, we're at the end. That's a guide to the fossil collection in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And have an amazing day. See you later.